Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Untitled Reviews. This being the show where I talk about dramas that I watch. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Yellow Jackets. A great episode. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode. So let's break it down. First and foremost, we're going to start about the, uh, we're going to talk about the present day stuff because that's what we're picking up after the last episode with Shauna uh, finding the glitter in her uh, closet. Now, someone had actually commented on last week's episode, so I'm giving them all the credit. They're like, they still weren't sure on that. Like, there was, a, there was at least two people I know that commented that they weren't sure about the Adam thing, and I was like, I didn't know because I didn't think about it too much because in the grand scheme of things, I was all about the Jeff situation, but like always, I back down. I'm like, I need to stay steadfast with my theory sometimes. I was like, all about the Jeff, and then the thing with, like, the thing with, um... Because once again, he showered the moment he got home, so that's why I was like, ah, you know... But I, 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 I flip-flop too much, that's my issue, but regardless, the point someone brought up is, like, how would he have known, how would Adam have known to get inside that, um... Save and I love they immediately answered this in like the first like 30 seconds of the episode. He, she was like, It's the the code, it's the flight number of the plane, like it's not that hard to figure out. I was like, Interesting. So I was like, Okay, because I kept being like, Yeah, who is he? Who is he? Like, what, what's going to be the real big reveal here? We never actually got to find out who he was. I was waiting, I was like, Are you going to find are you going to reveal that you actually are Javi? Which I think points out that. Maybe Javi doesn't survive this situation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Because I feel like he, once again, he has to be dead. Because if he wasn't, there'd be better ways to handle this whole Travis thing. So it's like, no, he definitely has to be dead. So, because like, none of that's come up since Travis died. You know, Natalie would have tried to reach out to him or something like that. Granted, maybe it's like, hey, I wouldn't have been able to. So it could, so it's like, yeah. So that that was something I was kind of working in the back of my mind for the past couple episodes. Like, yeah, probably he probably isn't Javi, you know, in the grand scheme of things. But still, once just proof of once again, I'm a, I'm a flip flopper. Uh, but I didn't know how that situation was going to play out. I was like, who are you? He goes, he's like, no, I'm you're crazy. And even I'm like, oh man, the thing is, she does sound super crazy. He, she's like, you could have just googled me, like, and she's thinking about all their moments they had together, and because that's a sad thing. That at the end of the day, she thought he did love her. She's like, because well, we've also seen like how she feels like. I think in some shape or form, Shauna doesn't. Maybe maybe it's self esteem issues. Maybe that's also the thing why she latched on to Jackie. Like why her and Jackie are so such good friends because their relationship. It almost feels like sometimes Shauna like raises Jackie and Jackie kind of brings her up too. But it's not like an equal friendship. It feels like. Jackie's got that Queen Bee thing and just like everyone's kind of beneath her like like she comes off that way and it almost feels like Shauna's just like oh like you're like her best friend so you kind of have to co-sign everything she does but even like even in the first episode you could see that she was kind of giving Jackie pushback on certain things um the way she acts and the way she is towards people uh she doesn't I think she just doesn't like that aspect. She sees the good person that Jackie can be, but her queen beeness kind of takes over sometimes, and that kind of, like, that's a very, like, negative side of her personality, I think, just never clicks with. It just, there's certain aspects about, I, I can't, I'm not phrasing it right, but there's just certain aspects about their friendship that just feels not good for either one of them, and I think maybe parts of that is why, like, Shauna, like, maybe Shauna feels like Je being friends with Jackie kind of fills some of that void she has. Like, that's why the whole her and Jeff thing happened, because it's like, right, once again, what you say? Tell me you love me. You don't even, I'm not going to hold you to it. Just say it. She's like, I love you. It's like she's searching for that, because I think at the end of the day, it might even just be like Shauna doesn't even love herself. Because Shauna is one of the characters we have yet to really deep dive on her situation much. We've dived in on Lottie's situation, so we know a little bit more about her being on meds. We've dived a tiny bit into Thaisa's circumstances, Natalie's circumstances. Shauna's past is the one that's really still a little hazy about why she does what she does. Like, those, like, that darkness that is in her, that, you know, because everyone came into this situation with their own darkness. It's just getting lost brought out those more, brought that closer to the surface for everyone. This episode in particular Brett, like, brought that darkness from everyone bubbling fully to the surface. It's been bubbling for a while, and it fully came to a head this episode, but we'll get to that soon enough when we talk about the past stuff. But it just, 
it just makes me like the thing is like she's searching for someone to love her because she thinks like Jeff doesn't love her and like it's like I said it's just something inside of her innately in her is just kind of a little off that she feels like almost like she doesn't like no one really loves her and she has to get loved by other means because no one would love her normally almost it feels like that like I just said there's just something there that you can almost like you can almost like it's it's palpable and you can just almost like you can almost get to it, but you're just not quite sure what it is. It's like, mm, you're tasting some wine and you're like, I, 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 this taste is familiar and I just don't know what it is. It's almost, it's a weird analogy to make, but there's something there about Sean that I'm like, ah, I can almost, I feel like I, I can almost crack and I'm just missing like a few nuggets of information to really solidify like what her like situation is. But... I like, but her spiraling like that, like I said, I thought it's going to be like, oh, like, oh, maybe Adam's not the bad guy you think he is, but it's like, she finds that book and it's like, he's like, okay, like, I Googled you. He's like, I didn't know you existed until we ran into each other and then, like, I Googled you afterwards. And so she has the knife and everything. I was like, oh, this is going to end bad. He's like, come on, like, we can walk past this, like, nothing's actually happened yet. I'm like, that is the thing. I was like, oh, boy. Like, I was immediately like, is she going to slash his throat because of the whole thing? Uh, cause where we started at the beginning of this series, obviously what she did to the deer, I'm like, it seems like that's a common theme. It comes up even in past stuff this episode, but that's why it's like, she's going to slash his throat. No, she stabs him and he dies. I'm like, wow, 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 wee, wow. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, that's settled. Once again, whoever Adam really was, we'll never fucking know. And then the moment she gets back home and she puts the knife in the safe and the books are there, I was like, what? I was like, you sneaky... I was like, once again, I was like, ah, oh, Jeff, why? I was like, why didn't I stick with my guns? Why did I change my mind? I was like, Jeff, you bad boy, you... I was like, fucking Jeff. Uh, and then she's like... She put it together. She's like, what's it about? Because it's like, right, I know they weren't there before I left. And now they're suddenly back. Yeah, you're... Okay, do you know anything about... He's like, glitter? Well, I was like, oh, God, you're a terrible actor, Jeff. And he's like... Okay, I was like, oh, and I was actually surprised he was so open, and honestly, I'm going to break it to you, I was like, yo, good guy, wow, Jeff is actually a good guy, first and foremost, like how he reacted to everything, I was like, you're just a fucking idiot, oh, you're a beautiful, lovable idiot, Jeff, I fucking love you, bro, oh, I'm so good, with the realizations of just everything kind of breaking down the way it did. And um, he's like, I'm sorry. He's like, I wasn't trying to blackmail you. I was blackmailing them. I didn't want you involved. But it's like, right, you blackmailing them is blackmailing me. But for him, it's like, he basically took out a loan with some very, very bad people. And he owed them some money. So he needed this to pay them off. He's like, no. She's like, are there people that's going to come kill us? Like, no, 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 no. We're good. I paid off the debt. It's just the business was suffering because he made a bad deal. And so he had to, she's like, why didn't you just come to me for that? Um... Because in his own way, he was trying to handle it himself. He was trying to protect his family. And she's like, right, I got to tell you something. And so she's like, right. Wait, he's like, you killed a guy? It's like, who did you? Like, because yeah, I thought he was black man. Like, why would you think? Who was this? That's the guy I ran into. Oh, the guy that rear ended you? Wait, what? You went to drink from the what? Yeah, because he was having a... She's like, yeah, don't act like you. You and Bianca were having an affair too. And the moment she said too, I was like, and you let that slip. And he was like, we're not having an affair. She's She works for the people that... She scares the living crap out of me. She works for the people. I was like, oh, I know. Once again, another thing I should have stuck to my guns. Because early on, I was like, he's not actually having an affair, is he? But then the Cali thing last episode made me think maybe he was. Because I guess both Shauna and Cali were under the impression he was having an affair. Because the fact is that when Shauna brought that up last episode, Cali just kind of looked away because it's almost like, yeah, they're under that belief, but it's like, no, Jeff has been a good... I'm like, Jeff loves you! Oh, and, and he's like, wait, affair... Wait, you were having... A, it's like, wait, you murdered a guy and you were having an affair? He's like, well, this is so much to handle. And she's like, what? You really thought there was... You really thought I was going to a book? And there's no book club? I was like... I was like, yes, Jeff, you lovable... I was like... That line in particular, I was like, I love you, Jeff. I love you, you fucking idiot. I love it. I love it. I love it. All the excuses that she was like, oh, these sounds like excuses for um, Jeff. And they were excuses so he could meet off with Bianca because it was about meeting up about the money they owe because oh, she scares me. But um, it's like, yeah, Shauna was the one with the actual lame excuses and Jeff actually believed. I'm like, he's such a lovable idiot. Oh, he loves his wife. And so now... Uh, Shauna's like, wow, what do I do? 
she's like, so, you know, it's a lot to process. Because it turns out he read those journals years ago, which I'm like, oh. And he sat on that information and she's like, wait. And that, I thought that is kind of a sweet, because you notice she says it. She's like, yeah, you've, you've known that entire time. And despite all that's happened, you're still here. You've known for years everything that we did when we were lost. He was like, yeah, I was hoping that you would open up about it, but you never did. But for also, he was like, I'm not going to judge you. You guys were kids. You were traumatized. Like, you did what you needed to to survive. I'm like, dude, this motherfucker, Jeff, is the most support. Your wife murdered her her lover, and you're okay with it. Even to the point Jeff is like, okay, so what I'm going to do is... Um, the cops are going to, like, eventually connect. So, like, I'm going to say I found out about you guys having an affair and I did it. And it's like, we have a lot to sort out, but I'm not going to let you rot. And she's like, honestly, you trying to take the fall from me is really sweet. And I'm like, yeah, good guy, good guy, Jeff. I mean, granted, you're now an accomplice to all this despicableness, but still, good guy, Jeff. You, you, you lovable son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Trying to take the fall for your wife? Oh, that's super sweet. But she's like, no, if you take the fall for that, it's not going to be long until they find out about you blackmailing me. And then all our yellow jacket business is going to be out there in the open. So it's like a no. We're going to find another way. It's like, well, it's like, well, you thought that he was blackmailing you. So maybe the other girls will too. So now they're framing Adam or whoever the fuck he is to be like, oh, yeah, he was the one behind it. So... She calls up Thaisa and Natalie, who are both dealing with things. Thaisa, you know, her wife is gone. Her son is gone. I love that she twisted it to make it seem like they left. But I guess it's like, it's better to be like, oh, yeah, they left rather than like, no, 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 no. I sent them away. It's like, you, no, you literally sent them away. We saw it at the beginning of the episode. So I'm like, why are you, I guess, publicly, she doesn't want anyone up in her business. Because it's like, oh, you sent them away. Why would you? It's like, no, shut up. So it's just like, we're going to make it seem like, oh, my wife left me because of the stress of everything. But it's like, right, don't act like you know me. Because it's like, what's the point? All of this, my marriage, my family basically imploding because I wanted to what? Make some reform and stuff like that. It's like, fuck that, you know? And it's like, yeah, you're sitting beside me. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through, all all my complications. So, and at the same time, Natalie's dealing with things in her own way. She's trying to get contact from Sarah about like the Travis's account situation. Uh, and I love that when she tried to get her M and M's, I'm like, you're only gonna take the one, aren't you? And she took the one. I was like, are you gonna take? It's like, no, no. She could have, but she's like, no, I want my M and M's. You're not gonna jip me out of this, especially when I'm in a foul mood. So there's that. Uh, I love when it's like, cool, called everyone in about, um, called everyone in about Adam. It's like, oh my God, you killed him. It's like, who is this guy? Yeah, um, this is the guy who reared me. Wait, this is your boyfriend? <laughs> um, obviously, Natalie was completely out of the loop. But once again, I like that. It makes sense that, you know, Thais and Shauna, amongst all of them, have like the most secrets that they tell each other. So I think it's really sweet. And Natalie's like pissed because it's like, right, you could have told us because we'll never know if he was actually responsible for Travis. But I think even though she's lying up a storm here, I do believe it was a moment of honesty from... Uh, because someone had pointed out in a previous re uh, review had commented they don't believe that Shauna enjoys lying. It's just, I think it's just maybe maybe once again this dot will come back as a as a thing from uh, maybe certain of her background that we don't know about, but maybe it stems from her. Um, maybe there's some level of defense mechanism that comes from lying that comes from like her childhood or early life that we just haven't gotten that context for in the in the in the confines of the show maybe it's something of that nature and something of that ilk but uh, she has this moment of i thought he loved me and it's like i think that was she was i think she was hamming it up a little bit to make them believe but also i think there was honesty and i think she truly like did like think there was something special between them um that's why she felt so betrayed she opened up her heart to him and granted he was lying but we will never know what his secrets are granted i can I, i'm assuming the truth is it's eventually going to come out because it's like there's going to be someone connected to him that's going to come looking now now whether that's jessica which i don't think that's going to be we'll see I don't think I don't think those characters are connected, but we might find out that they're connected. But it's like there's something about that dude. Like 
I think he is someone that just happened to stumble across her life and he wanted to invent himself to be someone that he wasn't to try and impress her because he sees like this crazy background she has and who she is and he just wanted to uh, lie and create. I don't know. Maybe he naturally is a con artist, but he was he was conning her but because it was also because he liked her. Someone also did bring up last episode like, oh, was he trying to get her to the cabin so he could kill her? We don't know. So that's a mystery that's still going to be hanging over there. It's like, yeah, this is dealt with. But uh, they need someone to get rid of the body, and none of them are really good at making bodies disappear. So Nat has to turn to the one person she doesn't want to turn to, and that's uh, Misty, which Misty's getting all chummy with Jessica. And I'm like, oh, is this real? But then, like, Jessica being, like, handcuffed to the wheelchair, I'm like, oh, no, like, you're opening up to her because you're trying to get her to lower her guard down because you're like, oh, we're actually friends. Because truth be told is Jessica knows and sees what what Misty is missing, like, Misty is feeling a void in her life. She's never been the popular person. Like, she's always been the outsider, even amongst the Yellow Jackets. Because she even's like, nah, we have each other's back. Like, we kept the secrets. It's like, really? Like, the others have kept at least some form of contact for the past 25 years. We know Thaisa and Shauna have been in contact. Uh, Thaisa has been looking after Natalie, even paying for her rehabs. Uh, what about you? You've always been the outsider. I mean, and she's like, oh, that's just me. And it's like, you can tell she's trying to turn Misty against the others. Because... Misty does, like, and it, we see that both in the present and in the past of, like, how she kind of gives her all to everyone else, but no one gives it to her. I mean, once again, our, was it episode two when she got that prank call, and then it's like, right, she got to be the MVP here um, while they were lost. Granted, that's starting to fizzle away. She has her own role, but she's not the MVP like she was once upon a time. Like, she's kind of a slight annoyance to some degrees, especially when it comes to Ben and others, but, you know... Jessica does convince her to kind of like tell her story and it's like right everyone's going to be sympathetic to you you know eating the others and stuff like that right because you had to survive you were on your own but like you telling the story first everyone's going to be so sympathetic to you and it's like yeah turn on them and you know and it's even like oh you're so pretty it's like yeah playing into a lot of her insecurities but then Natalie shows up and she's like I'm sorry and she's like wait you you never say you're sorry she's like yeah I know uh, but it's like, right, I shouldn't say that. It's like, yeah, but the sad thing is she's only apologizing because she needs you. You're the weirdo wacko, and it's like, right, you will know how to dispose of a body, you know, citizen detective. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry I said all the things that I did. Truth be told is Misty wants to be a part of the team more so than anything because she does care about them a lot. In particular, she cares about Natalie because I guess amongst them, even though Natalie's an insider, she's also an outsider in her own regard. She kind of chooses the whole motif of like an outsider, but Misty would give anything to be on the inside. So I think that's why she latched on to Natalie because she also, she has a bit of a savior complex where she wants to save everyone. We see with Ben in the past, and now she's doing it with Natalie. No, no, I'm gonna be your savior, you know. And that's because that's why she got a rock off uh, in the past. Like, yes, I'm the go to, I'm the savior. Like, she wants to feel important. I mean, also fits why she's in a medical field of like looking after people as like a um, a nurse in that regard. Of like, what well, I'm trying to think of like one of those, I don't, uh, would orderly be the right word? I don't think, I don't know if that would necessarily be the right word because I don't know what her job description actually is. I don't know, I don't know if she's actually a full blown nurse, but she's enough in that medical field of looking after people and patients that I'm like, yeah, it kind of fits that whole image of, right, I want to be important. I want to be special. I'm trying to fill some hole in my heart. I want to be the hero. You know, I want to be seen for the first time, even though I'm never, ever really seen, you know? So. There's that. And it's like, cool. So we need your help in disposing a body. She's like, okay. Uh, now, how you handled the whole Jessica thing? Are you going to go tell the public everything? It's like, well, you also can't let her go now because, well, you're helping out your friends. And if you let her go, there's a good chance she might tell the story. So she's probably going to end up, Missy's most likely going to end up killing her. Well, most likely what's going to happen is Jessica's going to escape and Missy's going to find out, oh, we weren't friends. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to kill you. Not unless we find out. Once again, there's a possibility. I don't think it's Missy. I don't think she's the one. I think she's crazy. I don't think she is the one behind everything. I think she's just trying to figure it all out as well. I don't think she's the one behind Travis or the real one behind this. My money, like I brought up last episode, Lottie's definitely continued to be number one. This episode shot her up even more for me on the number one on the suspect list. But uh, nevertheless, let's go into the past stuff. 
they're to the point they're looking for worms. They're frying up worms. It's the only thing they have for food. So it's like, right, Jackie's like, I'm not eating. Like, the fact is we're all going to die anyway. Their last hope of salvation was Laura Lee. And that literally, not figuratively, literally went up in smoke and flames. So it's like, right, we've got no, like, hope. We're all going to die. So let's throw a party. It's going to be like a around time. Now at school, there would be like the formal and so, like, right, let's have a doom party. Like, yeah, we don't have that. We're going to eventually starve to death. So they go off and make all these costumes and stuff. And I'm like, right, this must be, like, the eventual foundation of what they end up, what we've seen them end up in. Like, the wild, like, the animal, like, clothing and um, mask and stuff that they wear. I'm like, this must be the beginnings of that. Um, I thought it was really sweet that Thaisa made a mask. Uh for her and Van, because it has been a couple weeks since the last episode, so, that, cause I was like, man, we're not doing the whole, I was like, oh, you've already done the grieving Laura Lee thing, well, we saw it at the end of the episode, but also we skipped a couple weeks forward, because we see it later on, too, like, Shauna is showing even more, uh, but it's like, yeah, because also when Van, like, takes off her mask later on, her scar, she's still scarred up, but her face isn't as bad, because it's healed up a little bit. It's healed up quite nicely over these past couple weeks. I, th I think that's good. But she's still self-conscious about it because she has these like everlasting scars from it. But like I said, Thaisa made a mask so that she could cover up uh, the uh, left side of Van's face. And she made a mask that would match where it's like she has the right side. Um, which I thought was kind of... That was like, she's super cute. Like a very like two-faced thing in certain regards. But I thought that was really sweet. Um... Obviously, Jackie being super coy about it by being like, oh, like, um, do you think, do you know where we would be? Like, we'd probably be going to all these different parties and stuff like that, you know, when she's talking to Shauna. Because she's being super passive aggressive about it, but she's trying to, like, inch towards a conversation about, like, oh, yeah, like, about you and Jeff and stuff. And um, without going there, but she wants to be, like, all, like, blah, blah, blah towards Shauna. But she said something I thought was interesting where it's like, I forgot, she said something to the point that Shauna had to uh, say, like, right, everyone loves you. And now that's where I'm like, okay, the fact is that that definitely, like I said, it gives you those inklings of, like, right, Shauna doesn't think anyone loves her. Like, I think that's why she never, like, believes Jeff's love. I was like, that, this episode made her go, like, oh, well, you actually love me because of the circumstances of how they got together because it's like, right. I'm kind of like, what we were doing, what we were doing, plus Jackie's own. Like, whatever might have been here, it's like, it's faded over the years. But it's like, no, he still loves her. Um, going above and beyond this episode, present day kind of showcases it. But the fact that she said that line of, like, everyone loves you. It's like, she holds, so she has some resentment towards Jackie because Jackie has this, like, un, like people do love her. And, like, I think Shauna wanted some of that love, too, some of that attention. Because maybe she's not getting love or attention at home. Like, she, so she's seeking some, so on some psychological level, she's seeking it elsewhere. I love that Misty kind of guilts. Ben into like he's like oh I, I want to keep the boundaries up between she's like, I get it I'm not pretty I'm sorry and he's like uh, yes I'll go with you and she's like yay um, but everyone's preparing doing their their thing um, Misty uh, took advice from well she was kind of taking advice from what Jackie's mom about basically like if you want something kind of take it but she's like yeah my mom's on like 10 different downers so I wouldn't take her advice but she kind of went off and got mushrooms I'm like oh cool 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 and so it's poor decisions all around because Jackie's like you know what I'm done being a virgin I'm I'm about to go bang it out with Travis it's like no but what about Natalie it's like there you haven't spoken in weeks it's fine whatever she's like who cares about relationships there's no you know, it's like, because she, she was waiting for Shauna to really, really get into it. Like, oh, I dare you to judge me. I dare you to judge me, bitch, so I can tell you off about, oh, what I know about you. She was just, she's ready because she's like, oh, oh, I got, I got the clip. I got the clip loaded. I'm ready to fire off whatever you are. Say, say, say so. Oh, you never said anything? Okay. I was ready to fire at any moment. It, it definitely had that vibe to it. She was just looking for an excuse to drop that bomb on Shauna. But uh, it didn't come up. Still didn't over the episode, in the episode, but... Sadly, uh, Mari, like, mixed in the mushrooms. And at that point, uh, Misty should have been like, hey, you probably shouldn't. But then it was like, one of two things. One, uh, everyone's having fun. Two, I get Ben high like I want it anyway. So it's like, I don't want to take it because everyone will turn against me if they find out. Once again, she doesn't have the popularity she once had. Two, 
I, I need to make sure Ben's eating up so, you know, because it turns out the only one who didn't get high was Jackie because she decided not to drink anything because, uh, or eat anything just because she didn't want to accept any, I think it was just, I don't want to accept anything from you, Sean, especially because you're judgmental, especially over here showing, uh, the baby that you had with my boyfriend behind my back, so... I didn't talk about that, and I should have. To me, that kind of feels into that that line about Shauna, and because she's like, "How do we become these people?" And Jeff said, "We've always been these people." Because it's like, right? They're how they got together was they were having an, they were sleeping behind Jackie's back. Like we've always had this in us, and it's just like it's only continued as we've grown. So it's like I think that's such an interesting little element. Of uh, like their relationship is like yeah I brought that up before too I'm like yeah the relationship is kind of built off of this you know so but uh, so, uh getting back to like the past stuff uh everyone's getting high but also everyone kind of goes off their own Jackie's dancing with Travis um, Natalie goes off with um and they're talking about things. You know, it's like, oh, like, she's opening up about, like, oh, he's like, oh, what's going on between you and Travis? And she's like, yeah, I'm not who he thinks, or I'm not the girl he thought or would want me to be. But then they start tripping balls, and she immediately goes, like, oh, we're on shrooms. Like, of course, like, out of anyone, she would know better. And so, everyone's starting to trip balls, you know. Javi, I love he's just laying about, being like, where did they go? What are they doing? And then Misty, like, you see, like, some of them, like, Akila and, like, I think Mari and Misty are, like, drowning in some of the, um, the juice and stuff like that. I do love that, obviously, there's the Travis and Jackie thing, and he was like, at first, he didn't want to, because he was like, no, like, Natalie, it's like, oh, come on, like, She's like, I think I love her. And she's like, oh, you're sweet. You're a fucking idiot, but you're sweet. She's like, no, no, no. She's like, I used to be naive too. Shauna was having sex with Jeff behind my back. He's like, I'm sorry. She's like, no, 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 it's okay. She's like, at first, like, you know, for the longest time, like, I didn't even realize, like, whether or not I loved Jeff. I don't even think I even liked him. And she's like, Shauna did me a favor. It's like, yeah, friendship, all of it's bullshit. It doesn't even matter. None of it matters. So... Like, why are we getting so caught up in... Because, for one, she was betrayed by her boyfriend. She saved herself for her boyfriend. Two, it was also her best friend behind stabbing her in the back doing that. So, not only did you sleep with him, you're also having this baby. So, it's a constant reminder of it. So, in that... in that Throughout that all that, she's just like, you know, fuck it. Let's do this. Like, you and Natalie in the position that you're in. was like... You know Natalie finds out she will... You know, I mean, obviously, it hits you... Well, you end up dead. So we think we know when you end up dead that you are the one that drops dead at the beginning. Granted, we see that it is in winter. Whoever that was, it seems pretty likely that that's Jackie. But whoever, you know, um, seems like she dies in winter. So, But the fact is that um, Natalie's a type that would fuck you up. We see that present day. She definitely has that about her, too. She already didn't like you because you're the one that ran your mouth off to Travis last episode. And now when she finds out you had sex with him, she's going to, like, yeah, she's going to be pissed at Travis. But she's also going to be super pissed at you. Because also, Jackie's literally the only one that's sober right now. She didn't drink or she didn't get high. So it's kind of like, yeah, that's just, that's not going to be good. Uh, but like I said, like, everyone start tripping, especially Lottie. Because everyone started getting weird, just like, oh, there's something coming. And then Lottie's like, oh, no, we'll have food sooner. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? At first, I was almost wondering, like, she, she's not talking about Shauna's baby, is she? Is she like, we're going to eat that? But then I was like, but then also a part of my brain was like, wait, 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 Travis. And later on, she's like, Travis isn't hers. I'm like, I was like, that doesn't sound like that's a Natalie thing. That sounds like oh, he belongs to us. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. This was a meeting in my brain. I was like. Are you all going to fuck Travis and get pregnant and eat the babies or something like that? At the very least, it seemed like that was kind of like a, oh, he's ours, like, we're going to procreate with him type of thing. And I was like, wait, what? That's the type of vibe I was getting in that moment. And then them all going into the woods, howling like animals. I'm like, oh, you guys are, oh, you you guys have literally lost your goddamn minds. I mean, you're, you're blitzed out of your minds on shrooms, but also, like, there is that talk about, like, certain, like, hallucinogenics your brain will never quite snap back into it. Like, that's the only reason why, like, like, the most things I've ever done, like, drug-wise is, like, obviously, like, pain meds, like, uh, which I could, you know, I mean, in, in a prescription type of thing of, like, yo, like, I, 
fucked up my leg. I had to have surgery. Like, there's that, but never, like, recreationally, like, oxy or anything like that. It was just for medical reasons, and, you know, I've never touched it since. Um, but, like, weed's, like, the hardest, like, other than that, like, outside of medicinal stuff for, like, injuries and stuff, weed's the only thing I've ever done, and that was, like, in high school, and that was, like, over 10 years. Yeah, like over 10 years ago at this point in time. Um, but yeah, so, but like hallucinogenics like that, like I've heard people talk about like, hey, your brain kind of gets a little fucked. Like there is like some permanent thing of like, you kind of get so zoinked out. Like it, it unlocks something in your brain that once, once that, um, once the monster in the closet is let free, like there's no like bottling. I'm about to mix... Once the genie's out of the bottle is the better metaphor. Once the genie's out of the bottle, there's no stuffing it back in type of thing. But, like, them going buck wild, Jackie and Travis doing their thing. Because at first I was like, is Travis high? And then he starts tripping at the end. I'm like, oh, no, 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 he's high. And so they show up and they're like, oh, he's not yours. How could you do this to Natalie? And then it's just like, oh, I was like, oh, this... Probably don't want to say anything, Jackie, because they're all pissed at you right now. Because they're like, oh, because at first they're like, of course, that's so Jackie to go off with someone else's like, like take what she wants type of thing. Because she has that type of personality regardless. Like I said, it's like I think there's a sweet, good person in Jackie. It's just her queen beingness can take over sometimes. And that becomes all anyone sees and anyone knows Um, because she can be very self-centered. We've seen that. But. In that moment, they lock her up. I'm like, oh boy. And then they all grab Travis. I was like, what the fuck? Are we, is this about to turn into a damn, like, orgy or something? Like, obviously, like, uh, Thaisa and Van are doing their own thing. And they go off in the woods and do their own thing. So, they were part of it, but they weren't part of it, part of it. And so, the rest stayed there. And Lottie's leading the charge. And then Travis is kind of like, no. And they're not stopping. I'm like, this is get this he said no and you're not stopping and this well because he's also tripping balls but also i'm like oh this is this is turning rapey now and i'm like uh uh luckily he got away especially because he was tripping balls so much that he felt like he thought they were like ripping his flesh off he gets away they're chasing after him especially when they see him run away they see him turn into a deer i'm like well you're high you're starving and like everything that could go wrong in this moment has gone wrong so you're seeing him as a deer they're running after him you know luckily ben is like hey natalie go find travis it's all about love love can save us all go and then you know misty's like i heard what you said hops on top of him he's like misty i'm gay i'm gay 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 you hear me mom you hear everybody society i'm gay and you see that look on misty's face Oh, she's not going to be happy about that especially because even akila was like oh uh misty saw uh Natalie and Ben going away. Yeah, they're definitely not going to like that. So that's why I'm definitely going to be like, Misty's definitely going to put Ben on her shit list because it's like, oh, not only did you lie about how you felt about me, oh, you're gay too. It's just like, you know, because it's like he's she's crushed on him for a long time and now it's like, oh, to find out your crush not only isn't interested in you, uh, he's not interested in your sex in general. So it just, it double, it's a, it's a double wham, wham, you know? Because it's one thing to be like, oh, he's not interested in you, well, that probably cuts deeper, but also to know, like, well, it cuts even deeper knowing, like, oh, he had zero interest in you from the beginning. It's almost like he l- led you on, but it's also like he thought that was the only way to placate you. Plus, he didn't want to, like, come out of the closet yet. Um, but, yeah, them chasing, luckily, Natalie went, saved Jackie, which Jackie saw her and was almost like, oh, I owe my life to the person who I just banged it out with her boyfriend. Okay. Um, and then the moment they're in the woods, like... I was like, the whole thing, like, cause Travis got, well, there was also that scene where like, Javi was like, oh, Shauna. And she looks at him and she's like, run. And, um, they're doing the whole, like, I was like, whoa, we're getting to this pretty quickly. And Lottie's like, go ahead, Shauna, do the honors. And cause it was like, he can basically like, oh, you belong to us and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Luckily, Natalie showed up in time. Cause like Shauna started hesitating cause like the deer head start shifting into an actual Travis again. And she was like freaking out. And now it's like reality starts setting in because Shauna started cutting like Travis was bleeding from his neck a little bit. And it's like, Travis, are you okay? He's like, I'm fine. And he left because it's also like, right, this probably wouldn't have happened if I wasn't off banging it out with uh, Jackie. But then like you had um, Natalie being like, I'm tired of like your weird shit, Lottie. And Lottie's laughing. And I was like, you got to be the main one behind this. It. 
fits too. You were trying to have this done to Travis and Travis is now dead in a very sacrificial way. It's like, dude, Lottie went batshit crazy. Once again, she was already a little like weird just because of it. Laura Lee's religious side of things pointed her in a certain direction and kind of led her down the wrong path. And then like getting high off of those shrooms, it broke her brain. Like her brain wasn't always the most well-established anyway. And now she believes like, oh, this is like either the woods or the gods or whatever, whoever it is she's trying to sacrifice Travis to. Like she's trying to bring it all full circle again. She's the one behind this. Like she's not the one behind the blackmail and the postcards that was all... Uh, well, we don't, well, because we found out it's not just Jeff. We know Randy's involved. It's like, yeah, he's my best friend, so I had to tell him about it. Kind of love, like, Randy Walsh, which I think is funny considering Randy's the guy that she was also saying, like, oh, yeah, she's the one that uh, she initially lied to Jackie about, like, yeah, I'm the one who I banged it out with Randy Walsh. Uh, but I'm like, oh, my God. My God. Yeah. Yeah. Where does the next episode pass wise take you? Because it's like, yo, it's like, yo, did we just do what we did? It's like, yeah, we let Lottie like, it's like, yo, Lottie's about to kick this up, I think. Maybe. But it's like, Lottie might have led them down the wrong, I don't know. I think, because that's also the thing too, like, not unless we find out like Lottie didn't survive and it's someone else. Because I talked about it at the time and there's ways around that, but like, the body at the beginning had the necklace, had Jackie's necklace, but the hair wasn't uh, blonde. It was black. So it could just be like, oh, her hair, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, either that could have just been a misleading thing. But I feel like, not unless they're trying to suggest the person at the end there was Lottie. Like, the person that dies then, that they, because like I said, they definitely, it could have just been the lighting. It has, I've not seen the first episode again since then. That's why I was like, oh, that's why I was almost thinking, like, with the whole Sean and Jackie thing. That's why I theorized that, like, in the first episode or whatever. But not less that's Lottie. It seems like it's still pointing towards it being Jackie, but it could be, have been Lottie as well. I don't know. There's just something off of, like, yeah, especially the maniacal laughing like that. It's like, yo, she's out of her damn mind, and uh, she's definitely going to be leading the charge. So we are at the starvation point of, like, right, we're running out of food. We need to eat. I guess we're going to go to cannibalism. We've already started down the everyone went a little crazy. What's going a little crazier? I'm so, so excited to see where the next episode takes us with uh, with this. I believe it should be the season finale. So it's definitely going to be wild to see. Because the show has already gotten renewed for a second season. I got renewed, like a, I want to say, like a couple weeks back. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what they set up for season two in the next episode. Just in, just in general, what happens, but also like what set up is going to be, well, set up uh, for season two. So I'm excited to find out. But really, that's all I want to talk about. So the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.